first things first, I did buy this myself and it's for a project that I'm doing at the moment for my security cameras. I have a couple of new security cameras that I'm going to be using permanently and I needed another PoE switch. I only had the one, well I bought one and now I bought another one. So in this video I'm just going to go through how basically these things work and what I'm going to be doing with it. So uh, with that let's get on with it. So first things first, Amazon Basics. So this is just a Ethernet cable. You do not need any special Ethernet cable as long as it is RJ45. Now this is a Cat6. The only downside to something like or something like these, maybe, maybe a downside, is the thickness of the shielding. Because I do believe the higher up you go, like Cat7, Cat8, they get thicker shielding and thicker cable. You might find that a problem. Now this, I've got to read this off because I'll make sure I read it out properly, is 7.6 metres long or 25 feet. And at the time of making this video, it cost £12.06p. So it's not expensive. And that is quite a long cable. And the reason I've gone for this cable is because I'm putting this in my bedroom and I'm running it from a plug that is about this end of the ass. So I'm running it from a plug all the way along the wall. It's going outside, along that wall, upstairs of course, and it's about it's about there. So I wanted to make sure I had a long enough cable. Now, my only problem is have how big do I make the hole to get that through? Yeah, because it's they're quite chunky, aren't they? And you don't really want it that big. But I do have a solution. I'm going to put some silicon on there that will go round it and seal it so nothing can get through the hole. That's the plan, anyway, either side. So this is the baby I bought. Now this is say as you might find interesting the price. The reason I went for this uh, got. Golak was purely on price and functionality, of course, it needs to be functional, but the price at the time of making this video was £18.39p, but if you want to buy it now, it is £25, or just under, let me just click on it, double check, it is £24.99, £25 basically, yeah, so it's gone up, so look out there, I will stick links in the video description as always. But I just want to go through why I'm actually doing this. So PoE switch. Now if you don't know what PoE is, it's power over Ethernet. Basically, the camera or cameras that I'm going to be using, you can either plug them into a mains and power them up like that. I know I mentioned mains earlier. I will get to it a bit in a second. You can either plug in a mains power, which didn't come with the cameras, or you can use this single cable to give it power, providing you've got one of these switches. Just in case you don't know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who know all that looking. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who think, what the hell is he talking about? So it comes with a power lead, free pin for the UK market. It, it's quite small actually. My old one's quite big. This is quite small. <laughs> I'll show you the other one later sometime, maybe. So yeah, it's a lot smaller than I expected it to be, but not all about size, is it? <laughs> Let me get her out. <laughs> cool, that was hard getting that out. So we have ventilation on the sides, on the two sides. We have, for the power, obviously, AC 220 volts. We have a couple of mounting brackets, or holes, whatever you want to call them, for your screws and we have the connectivity now that says LAN so you need to put your internet into there first and then everything else into there according to that but I'm sure bearing in mind it's a PoE switch you could actually put your internet in there and in there as well or in there and out it should just work as far as I understand I might be wrong but I'm sure you can actually do that now this switch is for your uplink, that's this little baby here, what we're on about, this is your LAN, so uplink, you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to put your internet into there, but I might be wrong, we will find out, I'm going to actually plug this in upstairs, I'm going to take the other one out and plug this into where the other one is, and use this instead, I've decided, 
so yeah so i don't know what the 4kv stands for let me know in the comments if you know because i don't know and also let me know whether i'm right you can plug in your internet into there as well and it should just work it should be able to go both ways surely so it shouldn't matter should it but if you want to do uplink you need it into there now if you don't know what an uplink is it's for a virtual LAN yeah I believe that's what that's for and that says 100 megabits per second so it's not going to be the most fastest in the world but I didn't buy it to be all about speed I just need it to do up to 4k video and I think this will work just fine I'm not sure if I need that on or off we will find out so that is it so it's just a little bit bigger than my hand my hand my hand it's just a little bit bigger than my hand as you can see and with that let's go upstairs into my spare room it's a bit messy up there at the moment because i've moved everything out of the way because where it's going to go and i'm thinking i'm thinking about maybe mounting it to the wall actually yes so uh, with that let's go on with it So them parts you just watched, they was a few weeks ago because I wanted to make sure that everything worked perfectly. And yeah, plug and play, as you would expect, just runs. Doesn't matter which socket you plug it into, it just works. Now, I'm going to quickly show you what it's actually doing for me. So I'm going to get my camera up, quickly show you right now. And uh, voila, keeps an eye on the front of my house using that PoE switch. So it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's what I want it to do. And you've got the option of plugging in other devices as well. Bonus. Also, I was testing out my onboard microphone, the one on my camera. And let me know in the comments what you think. Me personally, I'll come back to the other one. This. The DJI mic. Yeah, I prefer that a lot better. But let me know in the comments what you think. You might prefer the other one, I don't know. So with that, if you like this video, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to buy the product, check out the affiliated links in the affiliated bits below, you know, in the uh, description, the video description. You know what I mean. If you're thinking about buying one, consider using that link. Thank you very much for watching and consider subscribing.